Clay's birthday party turned to days of panic attacks and a hefty lawsuit against a major northern Kentucky business. Thanks for joining us here at 5. I'm Craig McKee. I'm Evan Millward and for Tanya tonight, a Kenton County jury awarded or ordered gravity diagnostics to pay a former employee $450,000. WCPO 9 News reporter Courtney Francisco joins us now live. And Courtney, this case goes much deeper than just a birthday party panic attack. Certainly, it was a workplace dis dis discrimination disability case based off of mental health. And in it, we learn information that could be helpful for workers and employers, not just here in northern Kentucky, but nationwide. Inside Gravity Diagnostics 2019, before the pandemic, they celebrated birthdays like a lot of our offices do. Everybody signs a card, uh, you buy a treat, and everybody shares a treat, and just it's supposed to be a nice thing for people, and I understand that. But attorney Tony Buker says for his client with general anxiety disorder, that's unwanted attention, a source of stress that could set off a panic attack. It is an illness. It's a frightening, debilitating illness. Dr. Stuart Bassman says panic attacks are intense waves of fear. Imagine heart pounding, feeling like you can't breathe. See, the most difficult part of this is, on one hand, the person recognizes that there's no apparent danger, but their body is reacting as if there is a danger. Buker said his client told the party planner to skip him, but she she just forgot. During the celebration, he went to his car, calmed himself, finished work. The next day, supervisors called him in. He was effectively dressed down for his response. Um, accused of stealing co-workers joy. That meeting triggered a panic attack. The worker tried coping techniques, closing in. Asking, you know, people to stop talking, uh, panic attack, use short phrases like that. His attorney said supervisors misunderstood and thought he was dangerous. What they need from the environment is compassion and understanding rather than to be judged or accused as being deranged. Gravity Diagnostics fired him. They overreacted. He filed a discrimination suit awaiting trial. Gravity grew during the pandemic. His attorney said so did the panic. He talked about a trial about you know driving by and seeing their signs and and those causing panic attacks. And last month, Kenton County jurors awarded him $450,000, $300 for emotional distress, $120 back pay and $30 front pay. I'm waiting for a response from Gravity Diagnostics. The attorney says word of advice, businesses educate yourself on this and workers let a manager know if you have a disability and need an accommodation. Reporting live in Covington, Courtney Francisco, WCPO 9 News.